Today we're looking at the Socket Mobile 7CI barcode scanner and how to pair it with your Shopify system, your Shopify POS and your iPad. So the first thing you're going to need to do is put the batteries in it, which I've already done with this one, but the easiest way is just use a key, make that go side on and then you can lift that cover off, insert your batteries, close it back up again and put that back to there. And then once you charge it up, you should be good to go. When you first get it, it won't be charged. Make sure you charge it for four or five hours before you try to use it and carry on with this. So I've already charged this one. Once it comes back charged, you want to hold down this button for a few seconds. You'll hear it make a beeping noise and then it's flashing. So that means the unit's turned on. You're going to want to get your quick guide. These are the blown up pages from the quick guide. But the important thing you want to do here is scan the factory reset. It'll make that beeping sound and it'll turn itself off. And that's how you know the machine's now reset back to its factory settings. Turn it back on again, holding that button down. And it's back running. Now you need to put it into iOS mode for the iPad. So you look for the instructions the code for iOS scan that once that's scanned you should be good to go flashing blue light so it's powered on just leave it next to your iPad and hit the settings button on your iPad and then press Bluetooth and you should be able to get it into here make sure your Bluetooth's turned on of course and you'll see there it's discovered the socket CHS and the number for this one. So this is our barcode scanner to connect it. We just press it and it will think about it and say that it's unsuccessful. Which is not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, what we'll do is turn this off. Turn off our Bluetooth. Turn this back on. It's running, We've got the blue light flashing, then we'll turn our Bluetooth on. It's come up, so then we press it. Wait for it to pair up, and it's come up connected that time. So if you get that sort of thing happen, that's always the way, just switch off the Bluetooth, switch the scanner off and back on again and then you'll find it. So once you're connected, that's it, you're good to go. You can now close this up. When you go to Shopify, into your Shopify POS pin, and then you can go to Store, down the bottom here, and then into Hardware, and you should see your connected hardware is the Bluetooth barcode scanner. If not, you can come down here, and you can connect barcode scanner it won't be already be connected. In our case it's already found it and everything so it's all good to go. Okay so then it's just a matter of scanning the product and it'll come up on your system. Hey so if you've got any questions regarding Shopify or Shopify POS please just get in touch and we'll try and help you out. Please also hit the subscribe button for more videos from us. Thanks.